Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. This is Carrie with the Little Patch of Heaven Homestead. Today is May 31st, 2021. It's actually Memorial Day and I thought it'd be a good time to check out the garden. I kind of want to um, vlog about the garden this year because I, every year we learn new things and we do things differently and we have you know our plants placed in you know different areas of the garden and I want to really keep track of that this year so that I can start chronicling it every year so we can look back and say this went well or this didn't go well and we have it on video so you'll probably see more of the garden this year and you can probably hear them it is um, the 17th year for the brood X cicadas they have emerged we're in Indiana and they've been out couple weeks now it seems like they get the warmer it is the louder they are we had a couple cooler days recently and they were quiet we didn't hear them but um, we may see one while we're out in the garden if not I'll throw up a picture we've um, had several around here our dog Jack the golden retriever he doesn't eat them which is good I guess but he will slobber them to death and then roll on them so I don't know what that means I don't know if that's some sort of <laughs> dominance thing I don't know But anyway, let's have a look at the garden. Last year in this first raised bed, I planted zinnias and I did the same thing again this year. And they're doing pretty good. They could stand to be weeded, but they look pretty good. We don't currently have anything planted on this trellis. My plan is to plant some Kentucky Wonder pole beans. That's what we had on this trellis last year and it worked out pretty well. We didn't have enough to can. Actually, I take that back. I did get a few quarts out of it, but mostly I just want them to eat because we have a lot. We canned a lot of beans last year. We like to do a bush bean, um, the Roma too, and we can, I can I'm maybe 50 or so quarts. So we still have a good bit of beans. So I won't be canning as many beans this year, um, but we will, we do plan to eat more. So how we put down some of this landscape fabric, or actually it's greenhouse cover or um, greenhouse ground cover. He put this down earlier this week and then today was emptying out some extra mulch we had um, from when we actually put mulch in the bottom of the greenhouse. So kind of wanted to do that so he doesn't have to mow or weeding underneath them. So that's nice. These two hanging pots, I don't have anything in here. They're just hanging. I should, oh, that is a lie. This one here is my rosemary. It doesn't look so hot, but that's my rosemary. I need to get her out of there and put her in a bed. That's I got I got it last year, and I had planted it in this bed here. And when winter came, I potted it so that I could save it. And I just um, overwintered it in the greenhouse here, and it worked out perfect. Um, she's not looking so hot right now, but I need to get her back in a bed. Maybe I'll do that today. Anyway, in this bed here, we've got beets. Again, nothing on this left side that's going to grow up on the trellis yet. I need to get my beans in there. So we've got some beets that we planted by seed. Um, of course, how else do you plant beets? Duh. But I didn't want to put them in the ground because every time we do, weeds come up before they do. And then it's like, are there even beets there? And I don't want to get down on my knees and try and find out. So it just goes to crap, you know. But anyway, these are doing pretty good. So we'll probably do this again. I'm a little disappointed that there's so many empty spaces. Like, I know I know we dropped seeds there. Like, we put a whole packet of seeds in this little half of this bed. I don't, maybe they're going to be coming up. I don't know. But we also pulled out over here, well, we also planted over here, this romaine lettuce. We had some romaine in the garden last year. And we let a couple of them go to seed. And this spring we had um, some romaine lettuce starts. So we pulled some out just a few days ago and put them over here. Actually, it's probably a week ago because he just got the garden tilled about a week ago. So we pulled them out and pulled them, put them over here in this bed and then in the last bed too. And then we have, here's Jack. Hi, big guy. And then over here we have our garlic which is doing great. We're getting scapes on it now, see? 
so I had I had read that someone likes to make pesto with them I don't really know that we have enough to do pesto but it's probably worth a shot right so I'll probably come out and clip those see what we can do with them they smell great sugar snap peas little man and I planted them I swear to goodness I come out here all the time and push them up against this trellis and they all they want to do is lay on the garlic and grow with the garlic so I don't know I don't know if they're gonna grow up the trellis or not we'll see and then here again more mulch so he doesn't have to mow or weed it here but these sugar snap peas are doing good on this side they're starting to climb up it pretty good they don't all listen but they're not doing too bad and there's a couple um gourds or pumpkins that started in here um volunteer as you can see that one there on this side and then there's one here on this side too i probably should pull those out because they're going to get so big they're going to take up a lot of space in this bed and this bed is disappointing i planted onion in here from seed and you can only see if see only a few of them like here's one here in amongst this, these bits of grass here's a few here here's a few um, there's really just a few which is disappointing if our local nursery if the nursery that I like to get plants at has some actual onion starts I might get those and transplant them here I've done well with onion transplants I've never started from seed before so and probably I planted them too deep because they're only supposed to be planted like a quarter inch which is actually kind of hard um, so we'll see what happens and then these are more romaine starts that were you know volunteers in the garden so we're getting some free romaine lettuce because basically we're lazy gardeners we didn't clean out the garden last fall so anyway here we go here's our garden we we really only have a few things planted so far we usually don't plant the garden until memorial day weekend which it is right now so the fact that we've already got it tilled and a few things in here before memorial day weekend like that's a first for us so our plan is to finish it up this week um but i wanted to start from this side so i can show you we kind of drew up a little plan of how we want to lay it out we usually are pretty traditional about it and have everything in rows but this year our plan is to try a little something different with it so here's the garden now and i'll put up um, a photo that hubby drew up of a little grid for us kind of like what 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 our plan is or what we hope um, we can accomplish with it where we want to place everything So to start off, little man and I planted carrots in these boxes. He always wants to grow carrots. They are his favorite vegetable. He always wants to grow them. And um, he was helping me plant, I don't know what kind we planted here. We planted two different kinds. I don't remember which kinds are in which box. But he was, he got mad at me <laughs> when we were planting this box. And he got mad at me. I'm trying to explain to him, baby, don't put the whole packet in there. Just plant about half of it and then we'll save the other half for a fall because there's so many seeds we don't you know it's gonna be too much for the <laughs> for this little box well he just dumped the whole thing in there so he's got some weeding to do and then we'll probably thin some out so we'll see how they turn out um, under here under this trellis we have um, cucumbers over here that are gonna grow up the trellis those, those look good. Those are seeds that we had saved last year from our cucumbers. And then here we have a row of radishes on each side. And then we left kind of an empty spot to walk through. So here's more radishes here and then more cucumbers here. So far we only have pickling cucumber planted. I did not save, I don't know why I didn't save any seeds of um, the slicer that we had last year, which was actually pretty good. But I left this spot here on the end where there are no plants, 
so that we can get a couple um, slicer cucumbers to plant there. And last year, this trellis was gorgeous. It was so full of cucumbers. Oh my goodness, it was gorgeous. And this was really easy to set up. And um, we're gonna put another one on the back side of the garden, um, back there on that back side for gourds and small pumpkins. So when we do that, I'll film that so you all can see what we use to make the trellis and just how easy and inexpensive it really is, because it truly is. And then on the end here, this is the last thing we have planted. These are some tomatoes. This is a funny story. I went to a yard sale. Okay, first off, I um, I need lessons on how to grow things in a little greenhouse like this. Someone had to spend some time doing a little research because I was not very successful. It was disappointing. The best thing that grew in that greenhouse is a seed that was dropped on the floor of the greenhouse that started on its own. The best thing that grew was the thing that grew by accident. So. It was disappointing. I have to buy tomato plants. But anyway, except for these four. I do not know what kind these are. I went to a yard sale. I'm a yard sailor. Um, and I went to several yard sales. And one of them, this man, this older man, was having a barn sale. And he had a bunch of plants that he had started. So I'm talking to him about his plants. And I never said I wanted to buy any tomato plants or anything. He had some green bell peppers, so I did buy a few of those. Um, they're actually on the deck getting a little bit bigger. They're a little small to plant yet um, And he said I'm gonna give you some of these tomatoes. He had a lot of tomatoes And they're all slicers But I don't know what kind they are because they didn't have the little like identifier sticks in them So I could have brandywine. I could have marglobe. I could have I think he said Big girl not big boy. I think he said big girl or some kind of German potato or potato some kind of German um, tomato I don't know what they are but I know he didn't have any cherries and he didn't have any paste plants so I know they're at least slicers so he actually gave me like 20 some plants and we planted four my sister got some another sister got some my mom got the rest so um, we passed them out they didn't go to waste but we got these four so I will um, give you another update as more things happen in the garden and Maybe next time we won't hear the cicadas. I don't know. I'm assuming you can still hear them. They usually come through when I Instagram. When I do stories outside, you can hear them pretty good. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, I hope you will. We're a little patch of heaven homestead there too. And I usually post things um, to my stories at least every day. And there are lots of photos out there of what we do around here. So thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, we'd love to have you. Have a great day. Hope you've had a good Memorial Day weekend. And I hope you have a great summer. Until next time. Bye now.